As Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine rolls out to our healthcare workers, there have been a handful of severe allergic reactions. So a lot of people are wondering what's in the vaccine and what should people with allergies know about it? Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl takes an in-depth look at the ingredients list. In the last week, Pfizer has shipped millions of doses of its COVID-19 vaccine. So far, four healthcare workers have had severe allergic reactions after getting the shot, starting with two in the UK. These were people with a history of severe allergies and not just severe allergies like you got hives, but they had allergies where, you know, they encounter certain things in the environment and their body, uh, shuts down. Both of those workers carried EpiPens. At this point, doctors are not sure what caused the reactions. <coughs> but broadly speaking, allergies are when your immune system overreacts to something. Pfizer's vaccine has 10 ingredients that fit into four categories. The active ingredient is mRNA, which are temporary genetic instructions for your cells. Then there are fats to stabilize and transport the RNA, salts to maintain the pH, and sugar to prevent the vaccine from degrading while freezing. All these ingredients are considered standard. UC San Francisco Dr. Peter Chinhong says he was struck by what's not in the vaccine. So they didn't have, you know, egg products or any of those kinds of things that people might be allergic to. They didn't have live virus, which might also elicit a response. The only ingredient with a history of allergic reactions is polyethylene glycol, or PEG, one of the fats that acts as an oily bubble for the mRNA. PEG is also in Moderna's vaccine, and it's common. It's found in ultrasound gel, laxatives, injectable steroids, and other products. While rare, the FDA says people who are allergic to PEG or one of the other nine ingredients should not get the vaccine. But experts say people with common allergies should not worry. A lot of people with minor food allergies or bee sting allergies or peanut allergies or environmental allergies, and they may even carry an EpiPen because sometimes it gets severe. Those people would not be excluded from getting this vaccine. The American College of Allergy, Asthma and Immunology said people with those common allergies, including to latex and medications, are no more likely than the general public to have an allergic reaction to the vaccine. After every shot, people who get vaccinated have to wait 15 minutes to see if they have a reaction. The FDA says people with a history of allergic reactions to vaccines or injectable drugs can still get this shot, but they need to wait longer for 30 minutes. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Derek tells us if you are concerned about allergies to the vaccine, experts say that you should talk to your doctor. The odds of having a severe allergic reaction to any vaccine are one at about 760,000. That means you have a better chance of being struck by lightning, one in 500,000.